back in 2004, a young couple were traversing the Amazon rainforest with their friend after a long day in the jungle. The two were experienced backpacking in the Amazon and were very competent living in the wilderness. But nothing amongst all the dangers in the jungle struck a chord of fear into them like this did. They and most locals living in the area only feared one thing, humans. For amongst the never-ending trees and canopy up above, with 15-foot crocodiles and 25-foot long snakes, only one species can do the horror that one of these three would soon experience. Whereas an animal can be observed and avoided and rarely would not flee from the sight of man, a human can be cruel and calculating, causing undue pain that a mere animal would cease to do. All three had heard the stories, and were cautious of where they went whilst in the brush. They knew that when the rivers no longer had names, you should go no further. Returning from the day's exhibition, the couple and their friend decide to rest on the riverbank, in preparation of a very long night. With their friend steering his workboat painstakingly slow behind them, he encouraged the couple to go on ahead and set up camp in anticipation of his arrival. Steering their small boat upriver, they find a good spot and begin setting up for the night. Approaching the river bank, the two start securing down their boat, and they begin construction of a campfire. However, not long after disembarking, and deep in thought, focused on their tasks, they fail to hear the uncomfortable, artificial monkey hoots and calls surround them. By the time the couple heard a rustle nearby, it was already too late. The tribes in the area would use animal calls to communicate and even an experienced zoologist would struggle to distinguish them from the genuine. As the jungle went silent and the man raised his head, an arrow flew out from the dark and pierced him through his leg. Pain soared up his body and the noise in the jungle exploded as man-made calls, screams and chants took form. Looking down and unable to move his body, the man realized he was pinned to the floor. These were no mere arrows that most would imagine. These were six foot long, crude, spear-like missiles, cruel with intent. Unable to do any more, he screamed for his partner to run. They knew the hopelessness of their predicament. And in an attempt to save herself, the woman jumped into the torrents of the river. She floated there at the whim of the waves flowing downstream. Arrows splashed all about, creating plumes of water as they landed. But being battered amongst the waves, the woman eventually lay her eyes on the last sight she would get of her partner, as tall men with crude knives and other tools began joyfully disemboweling him. Not much time later, the third friend finally emerged on the site, and he described in horror as he saw a now disfigured and unrecognizable man still pinned to the floor. He knew immediately what had transpired, and he made haste to summon aid. When aid in the form of other boats, crewed by local villagers and loggers, arrived, they began scouring the shoreline, ever vigilant to keep their distance hoping the woman may yet be alive. Luckily, clinging on to life, hanging to a branch in the river, she was found. Traumatized and drained, but otherwise unharmed.
the Amazon is home to many uncontacted tribes, many of whom have fled further into the jungle to escape modern civilizations encroaching their land. Some loggers, and especially illegal gold mining in the area, can be exceptionally cruel to these tribes. And this, combined with a history of abuse from Western civilizations during the Industrial Age, when tribes were horrifically tortured and abused in the acquisition of rubber, have caused them to become incredibly hostile to all foreigners that enter their land. <laughs>